Hi, Lee Ellis here with this month's Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, this fall I was in New Orleans, Louisiana for a great event. The POW reunion was held there this year. We had more than 100 POWs and a lot of family members there. Also some Sante Raiders. These were, these were special forces troops that came in and raided one of the camps that we'd lived in for several years. Unfortunately, we weren't there. But as I thought about it, I keep seeing the issue of courage come up, and we were in a place where there were a lot, of, a lot of people with a lot of courage. I mean, courage was really the entrance fee to get into this organization. Uh, seven and a half, eight-year POWs were there. I was there five and a half. The Special Forces guys, fighter pilots, I mean, it was that. And that's what we think of usually when we think of courage. Those people don't see it as courage, okay? Courage is really making those tough decisions in day-to-day -day life that we all face that come at us, and we know sometimes we're putting it off. You know, recently I ran into someone who was uh, one of my clients that was in an organization that had been there for almost 20 years and knew he had to get out. It wasn't working. The leadership had changed. The values of the organization had changed. It was not a good place to work anymore. But, you know, that's very difficult when you've been somewhere a long time and to step out and go somewhere else, very, very difficult. On the other hand, I was working with a CEO that has a person on their team that's not a good fit. And the whole team is suffering. The organization is suffering. And the CEO's first responsibility is to make sure the organization accomplishes the mission. And if one of those key leaders is holding them back in that way, then the CEO's got to own that and take responsibility. So getting the right people on the team, or in some cases, as the first example, getting on the right team can be so important. But it takes a lot of courage because we know that some people are not going to like us. We know we're going into a strange place. We're going into change. We're going to have to go find someone else and find another organization. All of that takes courage. And every one of us has those kind of situations that we face really every day. I know I do. So I thought it'd be good to share the process that I use and the one that I work with uh, people that I'm coaching and working with because it really does work. First of all is you have to believe that a change is needed. You need to take some sort of action and that in doing so you will be better off in the long run. You know that in the short run it may be painful, but by making this action you believe that things are going to be better. The payoff is going to be there and it's going to be good. Secondly, you need to plan. You don't just do a knee jerk. You need to plan. You need to analyze. You get information. You get wisdom from other people so that you have a plan of how to make this change that you're going to make. Then you can go execute it. And that's step three is to make that choice and then step forward and execute. Make the decision. Take action. So now as you get into that, it's going to feel scary. Okay. And what we say is lean into the pain of your doubts and fears to do what you know is right. You can't go wrong doing that. You've already decided it's the right thing to do. So you're committed to it. So you just lean into it and just do it. If you have to write yourself a script to do it, do that. I've actually worked with people to do that. And then finally, stay committed by coaching yourself day by day to follow through all the way. Some people make uh, resolutions or make commitments to change something in their life, whether it's uh, uh, smoking or diet or drinking or whatever it is, some personal habit we want to change. We know we'd be better off if we make it. It's going to take follow through. In most every situation where we make a change, we make a decision that requires courage, it is going to take follow through. I actually find myself coaching myself all the time on that. Now, I'm a more outgoing person, so it's easier for me to engage individuals who will kind of help me and remind me of that commitment. That's good. But I also need, you know, some structure around that, usually to follow through on that. Whereas an introvert might be very good with structure and planning the change that they're going to make, but they may hold off from getting other people involved with them that can give them feedback, that give them encouragement and help them along the way. So you see, we all face similar problems. We may have to have some different techniques in them, but the, going back to the basics, the four-step process is believe that you'll be better off. When you do believe that, you'll have the passion, be able to make that commitment. Number two, plan it well. Get wisdom and come up with a good plan and then make that execution step, act, and then follow through. Step four is follow through by coaching yourself, 
getting others involved to help you be accountable, and having some structure that will help you along the way. Those four steps will help you actually take courage, make it a real thing in your life. You don't have to be a POW, a Special Forces, or a fighter pilot, any of that. We're just talking about the courageous decisions that we need to make every day in order to live better and lead better. And I know that you'll be leading with honor more and more as you do that. And good luck.